got a new product. The rocket feeds off the old product. It's been out of 17 years now. Can you imagine? Since 1989, when I first challenged uh, some golf pros to a contest. Um, so, well, let's get to that later. First, starting off, uh, I'm redoing the Jayhawk. Remember the 1980 Centuri Jayhawk kit? I was one of the two guys that put that together for Centuri. Okay. Now, the Jayhawk's a Navy target drone. They've flown over 5,000 of them since 1959. And the, I had to go to Point Magoo, Southern California, last year to get measurements on three hatches, two on the nose cone and one on the tail cone, that none of the blueprints gave dimensions for. Okay, that was a, just a travesty. He had this 21 by 44 inch blueprint from Beach Aircraft, no measurements on the hatches. You can see it on the blueprint, but how do you get the measurements off it? You know, you need, you need length and width on this thing that's going around this curved nose cone, and no measurements on the blueprint. So it was a real dilemma. So then I found out, I did some calling around, and just recently they put together a Jayhawk real thing on display at Point Magoo where they flew over, well, over at least 3,000 out of the 5,000 flew there. So the Jayhawks, I can't really see it here, but it's a delta wing bird, 13 feet long, it's orange, it's an uh, OSHA adopted the um, orange that the Navy Department used on these Jayhawks, and that's now officially OSHA safety orange. You can get it in a Krylon spray can, uh, Rust-Oleum has it in a spray can, uh, I bought automotive paint for like 122 bucks for a little quarter, half a pint. And then I mixed it up and I was firing through an airbrush. And my airbrush skills are sub-zero. It, it splattered, it was horrifying. So I go back to the drawing board and then I, when I did my research, found that Carlon had this on a spray can. Oh God, I just everything's put my scale model together. You'll see it tomorrow night. You're next. Got the E-scale model to turn it. So my new product, the long story short, is um, for the first time ever, introduced ever, uh, see Centuri's kit had about maybe 40% of the real Jayhawks decals on it, because that's all the data we had back in 1979 and 80 when we helped Centuri put that kit together. Well since then I toured Beach Boulder in 83, and I was given a beautiful Bureau of Naval uh, Weapons blueprints that have all of the decals on it, including the international sticker, which you ever try to reproduce this sucker, it's a brown border, yellow in the middle with red letters in French and Spanish. Good luck with that one. Okay, so I got the real decals, some of them. I got this one, the international sticker, and a mixed ambient fuel, danger, blah, blah, blah. All of these are decals. Now bear in mind, the Centuri kit had less, about 40% of them, uh, when they're all on there, it, it's incredible. You look at it, everywhere you look, there's decals. Now, I had a professional draftsman draw these up for me during this last year. I gave him the whole year, and I said, let me just keep throwing money at it, how much do you need, you know? At 20 bucks an hour, which is half his going rate, he's an old friend, he took the trip with me to Point Magoo, Southern California, to make the measurements on the hatches. And he said, yeah, 20 bucks an hour would be fine. So he racked up $1,500 on me. <laughs> Are you sure it's going to be enough? You know, you got them, you got them all done. There's a detailed, detailed E through Y. That's how many there are. And you'll see it tomorrow night on my scale turn in. If you wander by, we're returning in the scale models. But my um, data packet includes this entire notebook with like 20, I lost count, 26, 7 photo, color photographs. Um, and everything you would need to build a scale Jayhawk is in this notebook. So I'm offering it up. There's three blueprints that I, I own, one by Beach Aircraft, two Bureau of Naval Weapons. The NAR package has seven uh, schematics in it, I call them. They took the data off some of these blueprints, and I, I don't feel right in reselling their scale data packet. So it's seven bucks, go get it. My package is gonna have to run 95 because I, I spent 1500 just on the draft, you know. And um, you could go from peanut scale to giant sports scale, which would be four inch diameter, 48 inch tall, with all the decals there ever were on the real thing, okay? 
So for a $95 steel packet, I got myself a new product. So that, these handouts are available. And then back to Rocket Redolf briefly. These are two of the models. Uh, when I did in uh, 89, when I designed this thing, I took it to the old Rocketeers reunion. I heard that uh, Harry Stein was going to be civilized and be nice, you know. And so I said, OK, I'll, I'll show up. So um, Harry and I go way back. That's another story. Uh, so I redid the catalog for 2016. It's, um, it has these sketches in here, schematics of what's in these. Uh, the kits are running $18 each. Uh, the trick on rocketry golf is to start with a hollow plastic golf ball. It weighs a quarter ounce. So I challenged three golf pros, two in 89 and one a couple of years ago, 2013, and I hand them the hollow plastic golf ball. And I hand them the real golf ball. I say, which one would you rather be hit with? And they decide the hollow plastic would be nicer on hitting you on the head than the real golf ball is over two ounces. So this goes off with a, this has been packed up for a couple of years. <laughs> plastic streamer, uh, basswood fins, uh, flat on one side, curved on the other, you need your own airfoil. So, and it goes on a C rail, which I had the brass C rails available. And that slides down the C rail on a tripod. The launch pad runs $49.95 for the kit. And so it adds up the elevation angles quarter inch, I'm sorry, quarter degree accuracy. So on the game in 89, I was popping these things off 320 yards with a C motor, dropped it on the green 20 feet from the, from the flat. My, my second, the, the second hole we played. And the golf pros were impressed. Then the third one was only 170 yards. I got it about 40 feet from the pin on the first shot. The third one, was, but the problem is I have to putt out with a real golf ball and a putter club. <laughs> An old timer friend of mine back in 89 said, golfers will never go for it unless somewhere you have a real golf ball and a real golf club. Darn it, he was right, you know. So they had a little bit of respect for me until they saw me putt, and they just laughed their socks off, you know. Not a good putter. So we have a DVD uh, video that goes with my book. Uh, the books are available this weekend, this week. A uh, 60 page book all about everything you could ever think about. Now, in the long run, when the Chinese and Japanese get a hold of this game, it'll take off and go worldwide. So I'm starting to uh, gear up to throw boxes of catalogs at hobby stores in Japan and in China. And uh, hopefully you know, somebody will invite me over to play one of their, uh, one of their experts in golf. Uh, we have the real advantage here. There's cartoons in there, about a dozen cartoons my kid, one of my sons drew up. And um, 60 page. The back of it are about six or seven articles. I lost count. Um, we have one article done, and then they want to come out and film the, the competition or the TV cameras. I said, no, no, we're not ready for that. So the one article generated five or six more articles because it showed up on a little local paper in San Jose, California. Then the other guy's calling me up, hey, we want to know all about this. You know? Next thing you know, a couple of years ago, Wide World of Sports called me up. I'm sorry, Discovery Channel, wrong, wrong menu. Uh, they came out of Toronto. They sent a team out all the way to California. Spent 10 hours watching me cut basswood fins on the on the jigsaw and all this, and, and build the model, glue the fins on. And we go out to the range, and I'm playing the golf pro out there. And we had a lot of fun. But these guys were just all over this for 10 hours that day. And then time to, for me to get my copy of what they came up with. Five minutes on the television. <laughs> Five minutes for 10 hours. I went, oh, well, well this was free. They said, they said, you cannot sell the copy of this. All right, I can give it away, which I'm doing. But it, along with the book for 10 bucks, I'll autograph it for free. Uh, it's all about how to do this. Now, in the long run, it's, a, it's going to be a big money maker. Yep. One, one minute. OK. So it's a tough sell for Rocketeers. So everybody's got their own favorite part of Rocketeers, right? But at the point where you find a, the catalogs are free this weekend, so pick them up, hand them to your friends. Anybody who's played golf before, hand it to them. But if there's a rocketeer who plays golf, definitely give it to him. Have them call me, I can tell them how to make a chunk of money. But they may have to put up about 5,000 to get it rolling, right? I'll put up about 20,000 to help him get it rolling. Because when you have a tournament and we invite you guys out, hey, 10,000 first prize, 3,000 second prize. $2,000 third prize, and we'll sponsor your first $100 for you to show up so you can buy the kits and the launch pad and practice and come out and try rocketry golf. It's the most fun I ever had with rocketry. Okay.
And uh, so I'm going to throw some more money at it during this next year. We'll have a competition at Myrtle Beach. It's like one of the golf capitals of the world. Thanks. Uh, General is in the back of the room to give up for free. It'd be nuts to play the game, but it helps.